All right, so I want to address this video that I keep seeing y'all use as your uh, thing you hanging your hat on to not support Kamala. The, the reality also is this. Any policy that will benefit black people will benefit all of society. Let's be clear about that. Let's really be clear about that. So I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. All right, so we clear. No politician, especially at a federal level, can introduce a bill that is for a specific race in America. You can't do that. You just can't do it. And so the response to that has always been, well, they had a Asian hate bill. No, they didn't. No, they did not. What they had was a bill that was called, it's the COVID-19 Hate Crimes Act. Is what it is. It was nicknamed the Asian hate bill, but it never was a bill specifically for that. And the bill was, the spirit of the bill was to protect Chinese because Trump said the Chinese caused the pandemic. And so people started beating up and attacking Asian people. And because America's so racist, y'all will know the difference between Chinese, Japanese, uh, Koreans, uh, Taiwanese. Y'all y'all don't know the difference. So to y'all, everybody Chinese. Hence, the COVID-19 Hate Crimes Act. But it did not specifically mention or was not specifically called the Asian Hate Crime, but the spirit of it was for them. You know, sometimes they pass laws, but the spirit is to help a specific group. You know, like when they desegregated schools, who was they not letting in the school? It was us, but it never said blacks or African-Americans, but it desegregated schools. The uh, fair lending bills, that was because we were being discriminated against. Black people were being discriminated against. Um, Equal Rights Act laws, all these laws were for us, even though they never specifically said us on them. See, this is the problem. We too caught up and want to hear our name called and want to shine for same black people. It don't matter if it help you. See, but Trump know your mentality. The reason why he know your mentality is that's why he wanted his name put on them checks that y'all love to throw up. He gave us them pandemic checks. Because he knew by putting his name on them, mentally, you would see that as he gave them to you. The other bill y'all love to bring up is what they made the law for the LGTPP. And I know I'm saying that wrong. First of all, there was not a bill that specified that. What they did was they added the LGBT plus and I know some other letters, to a already existing civil rights law. So they didn't have a specific law just for the LGBT plus community. So that's not true. So those two laws y'all keep quoting and keep citing to support uh, not supporting uh, Kamala or not supporting the Democratic Party because they don't do nothing for us, they have. And I'm not trying to get you to pick any party whatsoever. And I know it sounds like, I know you're gonna say, no, nah, you pushing it. No, I'm not. What I'm saying is, if you're going to argue your point, use facts. A lot of you using your feelings over facts and your feelings are not facts. So these two bills that you love to keep quoting, throw them out. They don't help your argument.